I'm a good leader, and I think that's what I was put here to do, because people follow me. <laughs> because people, I mean, millions of people have done what I say. I grew up. In, at the very height of the women's movement. My father was in the legislature in New Jersey and there were a number of women senators who had just arrived there. And I remember them very distinctly because they were some of the first women in leadership that I had seen. The only other woman I'd ever seen in leadership in a magazine was Queen Elizabeth. So, so I come from that era. Her coronation was the year I was born. My first big idea was called Take Our Daughters to Work Day. It resonated with so many women and men in terms of understanding that the workplace was still not fair, that they wanted something better for their daughters, and that if taking them to work and showing them both the good and the bad of what was happening to women at work would help their daughters make better decisions about what they were going to do in terms of whether they were going to finish high school or go to college or become an entrepreneur. But it gave girls a, a sense of what was possible. I went on to develop a campaign called Make Mine a Million Dollar Business. We need more women to move from a microenterprise to multi-million dollar companies to hire more people and create things in the economy, products and services in the economy that women, women want. Being a leader doesn't mean that you do everything. Being a leader means that you, can, you have vision and can enlist other people in doing a lot of the work. If there's a job application and it has 10 qualities that they're looking for, a man will look at it, and if he has two, he says, yes, I'm ready for the job. A woman looks at it, if she has eight, she thinks she has to go back to school to get the other two. And we need to get ourselves into a situation where we can look at that job application, and maybe we need to have three or four, but that we're ready to say yes to whatever the opportunity or the challenge is, as opposed to thinking we need to know everything before we do it. I mean, I believe, you know, that when the women of the United States decide they want a woman president, we'll have a woman president. When the women, when women decide, there is not a sector in the economy where women do not work now. And when I started Take Our Daughters to Work Day, there were many sectors where there were no women. There are now women everywhere. So, so the progress in, 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 the, in the long view is excellent. I think in the day-to-day -day fight of it and the struggle of it, it is now up to us to keep everybody's feet to the fire about the legislation that was passed, that we actually enforce it. The enforcement of legislation, I think, is a, is a bigger challenge on some levels now, say with things against domestic violence and, 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 and sexual harassment and rape. You, the, they, they have, the laws have to be enforced because the laws are on the books, which was a huge accomplishment. It is us appreciating our value in a way that is not about us being a product, but is about being a vital person in society who creates value, is valuable, and has particular values that the world is crying out for. I mean, we need more of our values expressed in terms of the care that we have for our children, for our parents, for our communities, for the environment, all of those things that women experience directly because they deal with sick family members who breathe bad air, all those things, eat bad food. And we have to raise our voices louder. I'm not conventionally beautiful. I've always been, you know, overweight, all those things, which most women are. You just have to look like you to do whatever you want to do.